Hey guys, Chris here back with the Cube i7 book. Now, Windows 10 hasn't in the past played very well with styluses unless you had, of course, the Microsoft Surface Pro and then it worked okay with styluses. So the palm projection was really an issue and in my review of this particular model here, the i7 book, I found that, the, yeah, we on the edges of the screen, the palm rejection didn't work at all. There is finally now a fix to that that has recently just come out and that is the Windows 10 update. Previously, you needed the insider builds to get hold of this. And what it is, is a setting right here that allows you to ignore touch input when I'm using my pen, which is perfect. Because what that does is just disable completely touch on the screen. It's not enabled. So as soon as the stylus is close enough, you can see here, I'm just going to hover the, the Wacom stylus here, that touch just completely doesn't work anywhere on the screen, which is exactly what we want for stylus users. There's before, when you were trying to write, um, you'd have the edges of the screen down here move slightly, and it was just really hard and such a pain to be able to actually write properly on the screen. So luckily now that has all been solved. Now if you're having troubles getting the uh, anniversary, the Windows 10 anniversary build there, have a quick look on Google. It's quite easy to get. You just got to go through the Windows update there. And if you go into, I think it is the About Features or something like that too, there's another way to get hold of that. But as mentioned, yeah, Google will definitely help you trying to get hold of the update. So I'm just going to do a little quick test here in OneNote just to show you what it's like to use now. So just undock it and it'll make it a little easier and get the camera adjusted. So the screen should flip around like that. I'll just get the camera to adjust to this. Okay, so hopefully you can see this all right. I've just got the tripod in the way, so it's a little awkward for me. So as soon as that stylus is there, now I should be able to write freely. And I can, there's no problems there. And also you reverse that around so you can quickly erase things. Now, if you keep the stylus away, then you can still move around the page there and then proceed to write again. So just write here, for example, point two, point three, blah, blah, blah. You can continue doing that as you normally would in OneNote and it's not gonna give me any problems. And the touch sensitivity, sorry, the pen sensitivity there of the tip Seems to be pretty much the same, like I can do still quite uh, thin lines without pressing too hard for artists and people out there that are going to use programs that properly support the pressure sensitivity levels this has. And then of course you push really hard then that line gets a lot thicker. I've also noticed that the screen protector that Cube have used, the stock one that they put on there they install, it doesn't seem to be scratching up as easily as other ones I've seen because we do have a plastic tip on the end of the stylus that you get from Cube, the Wacom one that works on here. There are other styluses you can use, like for example the Note 4 or 5 stylus that has a rubber tip on the end of it. Um, but when I did test it out, I mean it works okay, but I did find that for writing, sometimes uh, you, it, it was working a little too close to the screen, so when you're lifting the pen off it would still write a little bit. But this one seems... I'll just add this into the video because there have been a few users that are reported on the forum of techtablets.com um, that they had trouble with the stylus working on the very outer edges of the screen, that it would just draw a line. I'm not actually experiencing that at all with the, the latest Windows 10 update because right now here, okay, that's brought up the task bar. Hang on, I'll just try and do it right on the edges of the screen. I'm able to draw and tiny little dots there. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm not... I'm not getting that issue that others have reported. Hopefully this is coming out on camera because they're very small little dots there. But that was me drawing that line. It doesn't seem to be an issue. And I can draw right now, right on the edge of, this, of the screen. It has definitely improved. And I'm not having any issues with that. On all points of the screen, I've found that everywhere I've used it, it it's just fine. It's not, it's not causing any problems for me. Sorry, I'm writing off the screen just then. Now, I don't know whether it's because I got a really good unit here, or it's hardware on some of the units. I think it's down to software. I think it's something to do with the Wacom drivers, and probably the fact that uh, previously, with the, the current Windows image that they were releasing, uh, cube on this model that it doesn't support that so once you get the anniversary update the latest windows updates there and and turn on that feature to disable touch when the pen is detected so you see that yeah that's working just perfectly fine there for me 
really good. Now I'm just going to quickly have a look in Windows. We do have another couple of little features that you get with it. Now there is this, what they call the Windows Ink Workplace. You start that up. So you can literally, now you can sketch on the screen too, which is something like what you could do on the, the Note series of mobile phones. And now I'm able to sketch on the screen now and you can completely draw and say, hey, you know, look at that. This is my problem, whatever. So that is handy. Another little feature there. And I've noticed too that Cortana with this update, you can't seem to disable Cortana. So that's being forced upon us by Microsoft. I'm not particularly happy with that. But anyway, uh, the other thing I noticed that Chrome crashed on me and just froze up the whole system. Otherwise, everything seems to be working fine. One thing that did freak me out a little bit that when I was installing the Windows 10 anniversary update to get the pen disabling feature here, the palm rejection issue finally solved, is that when it was updating, going through that process, it all came up in Chinese, probably because the base installation of this Windows image is Chinese with English language pack added to it. So that's why that happened. But uh, thankfully, once it finished doing all the update, I, I finally got into it. It was back in English again, uh, but there's some Chinese that has popped up when I start up and restart. You can get rid of that. You just got to go back through the language settings and make sure you set everything in there to save all the uh, new accounts and settings to English. So when you reboot up, you're not going to see it saying shut down in Chinese. So that's just a minor thing that you can quite easily fix. Uh, I'll very quickly just show you paint. So Paint also now has palm rejection because of that feature that just works all over Windows everywhere. I'm just spin it around again and I'll just quickly, well, I'll just show you there. So it's hovering the stylus and if I move my finger there, you can see that I'm not being able to draw on there. But if I put the stylus down here and then I can draw. So to me now, this stylus performance on the i7 book here is pretty much perfect. Okay, maybe not the best stylus because, as mentioned just before, that it doesn't have that rubber tip on there. But if you can find a Wacom stylus, I don't know if the Bamboo series ones are the ones that will work on here, uh, that does have a rubber tip on there, will give you quite a good writing experience. And it's really quite good now. Now, battery life, it seems like it might have improved slightly, but I've literally only had the anniversary update on here for about uh, 24 hours and I haven't had a chance to gauge that correctly but I do think it looks like it's giving a slight boost to battery life. So when the Windows 10 anniversary update now I'm really quite happy with the performance now of the Cube i7. Well those faults that were in my review the major fault being the heat. Now I have fixed that with my thermal mod there is uh, a video of that there's hopefully there should be a card popping up in this video now that you can select to see that thermal mod I did. That will fix the tablet getting up to 97 degrees, boost performance. And now the palm rejection issue is completely 100% solved now. So that is good. Only leaving a hardware problem that is the speakers. So the speakers on this side here, we have both of them. So stereo separation is very poor because they're both on the right side. And they're very tinny speakers. And I did install a program called DFX Audio Enhancer. Uh, and that does help a little bit with the way the speakers sound, but it's it's not ideal. These speakers are not premium speakers that are in there, and they do not sound anything like my Surface Pro 4 speakers, or even the speakers that were in the Show Me Me Pad 2 are a hell of a lot better. But even with those speakers, this has become now a very all-rounded stylus tablet and I think definitely one of the best out there for the price that you can get at the moment. I really do like the keyboard dock too. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I will catch you back in the channel. I will have more up and coming videos on more tech out of China. So keep an eye out for those.